Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Maurice Hero here from the Pocket Box Collective. And today we're going to be looking at Master Maid's SDT-01 Titan Mobile City, also known as Metroplex. But before we get into the review, let's take a look at some accessories. Okay, he comes with two of these. They're little shoulder cannons. I mean, you can basically put them wherever your little heart desires. He's got um, ports all over him that you can basically put these anywhere. Um, it's, it's got white plastic with a nice little gray paint in here, red paint on inside there. These articulate. And again, he comes with two of those. He comes with four of these. They just peg in anywhere. Not bad sculpt at all. Comes with four of those. He comes with one of these. It's got nice little temp uh, little temp labels on there. It's painted. It's not a sticker. White plastic. It's got gray outlines right here. Red right here. And then it's got a little tab right here, so you can put it anywhere. It's pretty cool. And then he's got this red cannon. And the cool thing is, is that they hold together with magnets, but also has two pegs right here. You can place anywhere. Red plastic. That's uh, gray paint right there. More of this, more of these little labels on here. For articulation, this opens up because it becomes a longer cannon, which is pretty cool. And he comes with a little miniature Ultra Magnus. Pretty cool. Let's look at them a little bit closer here. It's got white paint, gray paint, yellow for the eyes. It's on a peg, moves around. Does a whole 360, just the shoulders getting in the way a little bit. Red paint on the chest, white paint on the chest. The arms go all the way around. On the bottom has like a little hinge right here so you can butterfly out. It's got bicep swivel. Nothing for the wrist. Comes with these two cannons up. They do not, they're attached, they don't come off unfortunately. You can kick back kick forward that much uh, the knee is yeah that's as much as far as he goes for the knee for the foot just rocks out a little bit up and down and that much out it's not bad cleans up good in the back it's got great paint there a little white paint on the dots the, the antennas are painted the missiles are painted and he does come with an extra hand it's a pointing hand oh well pointing hand get him out of the way here and all you have to do to switch it is just pull this out nice little peg pop that one in and now he just points unfortunately his elbow does not bend he has no elbow joint there so he just points like you you come here
but I don't use that one. I use the double guns, cause I mean, we're going to war. We're going to war against the Decepticons. But yeah, he's a cool little figure. All right, and that's it for accessories. I'll show you how they all work uh, as soon as I start transforming Metroplex. Okay, so now let's take a look at this guy. Boom. So for his head, it's pretty nice. It does turn all the way around. Looks all the way up. His antennas articulate. If you want that, I personally don't touch them. He's got this little gimmick back here that moves his mouth. It opens. Ah. He also has a nice little can put a battery in there and his eyes light up I don't have the battery in there I'm not gonna be displaying them with his lights on as soon as I get the replacement part for him which has the smaller head I'm gonna pop it on um, these do come off but they're a pain in the ass to come <laughs> to put back on so I'm just not gonna take them off he also has this other little gimmick where his eyes move but they only work when the lights are on and again I don't have the battery on but you know it's a cool gimmick this just holds on by magnet which is pretty cool, doesn't come off, so you're good. <clears throat> Let's look at the chest. Got nice paint there, yellow. This is another feature, it has a light up feature, the battery's inside there, again, I don't have the light in there. Nice little red paint right there. Yellow paint right here on the chest. Nice insignias and little writing, I don't even know what that says, it's so small. I don't even know what that says. He does have a waist swivel, goes all the way around. For the arms, all the way around. It's got a little butterfly right here, out to there, and a little bit more. It's got a bicep swivel, a little bit more than 90 on the elbow bend. He's got wrist articulation, goes back and forth, right here, also on the on the actual wrist. It can turn all the way around. Each fingers are individually articulated. They're on hinges. And then at each end, they're also on hinges. The thumb is on a ball point at the end and the hinge right there in the middle, which is pretty cool. Same for the other side. Let's look at some of the paint that he's got on there, more of that writing. Red right there, red right there, gray right here. So that's pretty cool. Now for the legs, and it kick, kicks up that high. I don't know if you guys can see. So that, that, that's as high as he goes. Sorry. This is as far, as far back as he goes. Uh, tight joints. Double jointed knee. It's got nice paint jobs right here. This is red plastic with some gray. More of that red writing. Yellow right here. Yellow right here. Gray right here. The wheels are made out of rubber, which is pretty cool. For the toe, he's got yellow right here. Translucent plastic back there. Die cast. And the toes articulate all the way down. That's due to transformation. He's got a rocker. And he's got a little bit up. So not bad. Not bad for, for the figure. Now... According to the instructions, 
how to use the accessories. This is where they put them, but you can put them anywhere because he's filled with ports all over the place. He's got ports here, 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 down here, here. Another one right here. Arms. In the back. You know, so you can put them wherever your little heart desires. But per the instructions, which is what we're going to use for the review. You put one of these guys here. Another one here. Since he does come with four, you put one in the back of the arm, one in the other side. You get these right here. It tells you just to put them right here. And if it's flush, right in that shoulder. Same for the other shoulder. And then with these, you can do whatever your little heart desires. You can, with this little peg right here, back a little bit. It's got a port right here on his hand. You can put that there and use that as a shield. Grab this. Put down this forearm. It can be an little gun you take this off have two guns all right if you don't know what to do with this just put it in the back here as for storage all right if you don't like that another suggestion is put that here Put this guy here, put this guy here, and you got that going on. But what I do, it's nothing fancy, it's just because I don't like him holding weapons. I put one here, I put the other one here. <laughs> Stupid magnets. And I close this little peg right here. And then these two holes, that pegs in right there. And he just chills right there like that. That's just what I do. All right. Now let's try to get him in his first mode, which is what the instructions call hyperspeeder mode, which is basically like his tank mode. So what we're gonna do is remove this. And keep all these on. Well, actually, let's take them off. Let's take all this stuff off. And we'll put them on where they have to go later. All right, let's see. First, what we're gonna do is get the arms out of the way. And we're gonna work on the legs. What we're gonna do here is just peg them together. See there's little tabs right here and two tabs right here. And we're just gonna tab them together. It should all fit perfectly. Uh, all right, then you're gonna grab the feet, rotate them down. You're gonna grab these bits right here, move them forward, move them forward, and then they'll sit flush. And you're gonna grab him and bend them in half. You'll hear it pop, they'll lock it into place. Bam, don't be scared. It's not going to break. So, so far, that's what you got. And 
And then you're going to take his head and you're going to push up. His brains. You're going to rotate it down and then you're going to push down to lock it. I'm sorry, push up to lock it. Correction. And then it's just going to sit there. It's just floating. It's not hitting anything. So don't worry about that. Sorry. How to adjust the light. Next, we're going to make a fist in the hands. And then we're going to rotate to the back. And put them at a 90 degree. So it looks like that and then you can just fold your hands with the white part up so it'll look like that same for the other side you know you can fold them now if you want make sure you have that fist going on make sure you have this fist going on right here and you're gonna rotate it and turn it over Sorry, I'm not even in frame. Rotate it so it looks like that. Grab your wrist, turn it down. So you have that going on. Let's see if I can fix this camera a little bit. So you have so far like that like that next what you're gonna do is there's a little hook right here you just push it forward you got to bring this up and it pulls up that little those little yellow dots up there and then this little red piece it slides it's like on a slider it'll slide right up The shoulders have cannons in them. Just bring them out. Shoulders have cannons in them. Same on both sides. Bring them out. These articulate up. Face them up. So you got that so far. Now you're going to add all your stuff. All your accessories. So you take this one. And I put one right here. I'm just going by what the instructions say. You can put them wherever you want. Put this here if you want, but it's going to be in the way. I mean, you can put it here if you want. You can articulate it however you want. So but I'm just going by the instructions. It's going right there. These two, one goes here, the other one goes here. You have these other two, one goes there, the other one goes there. There it is. And then these. They want you to put it here. And then this goes like this. Now you can articulate that however you want. And there's your little tank mode. He rolls great. He's got this little feature right here that you can go around, which is pretty cool. These articulate. So that is what your hyper speeder mode looks like.
which is pretty cool. And for some size comparison, give me one second. For some size comparison, you got G2 Blackjack and our resident mascot, Runabout. Let's see how they compare to this guy. So not bad. Now let's get him into city mode. And from here, it's not that difficult. Let's just take all this stuff off because we have to obviously put them in different places for city mode. Let's put them all to the side. All right, so we have this going on all right so the first thing we're going to do is rotate this arm like this that's done we're going to rotate this arm like this but then we're going to turn the elbow like that that's done then we're going to put these two parts back and it's a little tight so bear with me. You got that one. It's super easy. This one's the tight one. There we go. Oh, this one moved back. There we go. Now you're going to lift here. It's got a little door. A little rampway. And pull those out. Here, I'll bring it in so you guys can look at what I did. So I basically pulled that ramp out and opened up this door. And then you're gonna pop these up. And split the legs. And you grab the little toes and you articulate these up and you have more cannons. And then you grab this piece and it goes here. You grab this piece and it goes here. And you grab these little pieces and you put one there. Put another one here. Put one up here. And put another one over here. And is there one over here? here? Now with the other two pieces. what they want you to do what they suggest doing is uh, grabbing these parts right here this part right here what they want you to do is fold these in like that to the back right here on this side we want you to tab these in like so 
these two go here. One goes on there. The other one goes on here. So you have that little look going on. And they want you to put this right here. Just tabs it right in. And it sits like that. And that is your city mode. And it's not bad. I like it. I like these little master made figures. They're pretty cool, man. They're very solid. Um, a lot of tightness. But, you know, it's good. I like it. It's pretty cool. Now let's get them back into robot mode. So we're going to undo all this stuff. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to take these off. I'm going to take these off. I'm going to take these off. Put them over there. Take these off. So what we're going to start is, again, with the legs. Close these. All right. We're going to move these up. Move these up. Keep keep these forward yet first. You know, don't move them up yet because it's not going to let you. <clears throat> now we're going to straighten out the arms. These parts get, I mean the arms, the legs. We're going to grab from right here tight because there's like a little locking mechanism. And you got to work your way around that lock. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. All right. Now you can move these up. Move these up. Fold the feet up. Fold the feet up. You can close these things. Close these. Move these forward. This just, it's on a slider, so slide it down. This turns it down. The shoulders turn right there, straighten out, these go in, same for the other side, these go in, let me move the camera up a little bit for you guys. Now for the head, you want to push down right there, it releases it, you know, turn it a little bit, that way it goes up, turn it in, and you just push down and it locks it, and that's it. fix this camera really fast I apologize guys all right let's fix this wrist fix his wrist let's put him how I had him a lot of people are not gonna like how I set him up but hey it's what I like it's not what you guys like you know, you guys set up your figures how you like, because they're yours. I set mine up how I like. Because he's mine. Why do I like it like that? I don't know, because I can. And I think he's cool. I love the fact that he can do it. You know? And now I arm him up. This is how I arm him up. 
kind of a very generic nothing out of the ordinary because he just sits on my shelf next to the other I guess you want to call them Titans if you want to consider him a Titan even though he's this small but hey it is what it is he's my guy if you like him I encourage I re highly recommend you guys to buy him he's super cool all the stuff you can do there's also a another separate add-on piece that they sell it's kind of like a bust but the bust can come apart into more weapons and into a it comes with an extra head it's a smaller head it's a smaller head and that's what I'm gonna I'm waiting on so I can uh, switch out the heads it'll look a little bit more proportioned I mean don't get me wrong the whole point of is the whole the big head gimmick but I want them to fit in with like my MFT huge dragon All right, and some size comparisons. Did I say that right? Size comparisons. Size comparisons. My tongue is not working today, I guess. There's our mascot. What's going on here? Why is he not standing right? Come on, bud. And Blackjack, G2 Blackjack. And then his little buddy. So yeah. That's basically the review for this guy. Um, in my opinion, I think he's pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people like to collect the Hasbro Titans. Uh, that's just too big for me. Uh, I just basically need a representation of the character on my shelf. Um, so he's good for me, you know, um, another good size comparison would be Iron Factory's Scorponok. As soon as I get the head, you know, it'll be a little bit more proportioned and he'll fit in right in there. So that's just my opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own. But hey, I recommend you getting them for your collection. I think he scales well with a lot of Legends figures. And, you know, hopefully you enjoy the review. Thanks for watching. Again, check out the other reviews from the other guys on the channel. And we'll see you again shortly. Peace.